the same place in your brain, the same chemical reaction that causes you to become addicted to drugs or alcohol or porn, it's been proven to be the same chemical reaction for fear. And the news channels for the past six months, they've basically been putting out fear porn and they've got record ratings because of it, so it's clearly working for them. We begin the programme with some breaking news. We start with the latest evidence of the economic damage across the UK. Britain's big banks under sustained attack on the market. In the USA, the price of oil has collapsed to a record low. Is the UK facing a second surge of coronavirus? And many people have been watching the news that much that they've become addicted to fear. And what happens when you do that is you end up spending your life being paranoid and you lose your critical thinking skills. You lose the ability to, to look at the data, what's coming out. Unemployment's down, household debt is down, consumer spending is at pre-COVID levels. The stock market's doing really well. But instead of this, we get ourselves in such a state that we blow up at someone who's got the nerve to step within six foot of us at the supermarket, or even worse, we just let it ruin our entire day. You get to the stage where you just see threats everywhere. The brain is designed to protect us, and when it senses fear, it puts us in one or two places, fight or fly. And most people focus on fly, so they become afraid and they don't want to go anywhere or do anything, and, and they freak out that with anyone that doesn't share their own beliefs. Why not instead try focusing on the fight mechanism and saying, look, do you know what? A lot of this is out of my control but I'm not gonna let these circumstances, the pandemic and other people's reactions shape my own perspective. And focus on what you can control. And what you can control for one is how it makes you feel. And also you can control what you consume. If all you take in is fear and negativity, you're gonna become accustomed to looking around every corner for what's gonna hurt you. Yes, this is a tough time and I'm not trying to take anything away from it or, or lighten what's gone off. But we've been through tough times before. And what have we seen? If the human spirit, if it decides to fight, very good things can happen. This is a storm. Storms always pass. Yes, some are worse than others, but they don't last forever. A prime example of that is the great toilet roll shortage of 2020, where you couldn't get it anywhere for about two weeks. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. So the message of the story is, be very careful what you consume. And remember, you choose how it makes you feel. Make sense? Make sense.